What's going down? Molly Skeller fans. Welcome back. I was just down at the uh, Highway 55 and we kind of got blocked out. Uh, not in a bad way. I guess they just didn't offer the uh, Highway 55 challenge, which is okay. That's cool. I was like, we'll just go find another one. Uh, El Cazador. They have a Texano burrito challenge here. Five pounder, wet burrito. You know the whole drill. It's not free. It's pay to play. But you know, honestly, burritos are awesome. Honestly. I wish they had like 10 pound burritos everywhere, but this is only a five pounder. So we're gonna do a small one, pay to play. So I think it's, a, I wanna say it was $25, but inflation, I have not seen an updated menu of any sort. So we'll figure that out. Killer Kennedy behind the camera. Molly's got her mom and woman versus food. Burrito, North Carolina, it's Friday. Let's do this, oh my God, let's go. <laughs> All right, folks. Burrito Texano challenge comes out. Five pounds. This is a paper play. Now, it actually is not on the menu. You have to ask for it. So, five pound burrito, a little bit of cash out the pocket. But honestly, this looks like a phenomenal freaking burrito. It's got a variety of sauces on top, cheese. Of course, I'm going to dump a bunch of salsa on because. I would drink a gallon of salsa just to drink a gallon of salsa. Watch my other videos. Um, I'm actually really excited. There's no time limit on this either, by the way. Um, it's burrito love. Killer Kennedy's hungry. I'm hungry. Let's do this burrito. Like I said, do we even want to time this? We can. You don't have to. Well, nah. Up to you. I'll time it just for craps and giggles here. Just because, you know, whatever. So I guess. Y'all. Well, burrito uh, time. Burrito time. Burrito Texano. There we go. Three, two, one, burrito. Alright. <laughs> Looks like there's some salsa verde down here on this end. Oh crap, there's shrimp in here. <clears throat> Gross. Well, um, I will have to dissect this a little bit. I can't eat the shrimp. No? I can't. That sucks for me. There's not that many pieces of shrimp in here. I don't know, I guess I'll find out. Um, I got three pieces of shrimp. So I'm dabbling with a little bit of, of a seafood allergy right now, and I'm trying to get, figure out what the heck's going on with that. So unfortunately, I will be picking a couple pieces of shrimp out of my dish because I don't really want to die. I got three pieces of shrimp. Four pieces. But mm, it's good. It's really good. Look at that, mom, getting my seafood on. Liquid magma. I'm eating those three shrimp right now to get them out of the way. You only have three? Mm -hmm. I've got like at least seven so far on one side. Oh, four. Four shrimp. Five shrimp. Oddly enough, I do have the record for eating shrimp. 642. enough. Then she develops an allergy to it. Yeah, then I develop an allergy to it. And that is why you will never see me do an oyster contest. And another reason why you don't really see me do any seafood or an, I can do fish. Um, oh, there's two more pieces there. I'm unearthing these things. Now if it touches it really, it doesn't really affect me per se, but if I ingest like a whole piece of it, it's like, it's more of an intolerance right now. <laughs> but, I actually do like shrimp, that's the sad thing. Never mind, I inert a whole bunch of it, it was just hiding. There's a ship pile of it in here. Yep. That actually really sucks. <laughs> there's chicken, there's steak, there's shrimp. It's pretty loaded. Peppers and onions, oh my god, wow. Corn. Pepper, onions, corn. Tomato. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. Have you have corn? You can always say see you later. Corn. 
Corn poopy. One piece of corn. It's also a way to test your digestive system. When you see the corn again, that's how long it takes for your body to process whatever you eat. See you later. Yep. yep, pretty much. Oh, well, there's a lot of cheese. This is a. This is like. This is actually probably one of the good, best burgers I have in a while. Pretty good burrito. It's being fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah, right. Like I said, it wasn't on the menu. Um, you have to ask for it. Um, uh, oddly enough, like I said, for a five-pound burrito, I mean, this is oh, this is really, really super good. I would have to say top five. No complaint. The cheese is really good too. And beans, Andy Pool. Lots of beans. Now, if I would have been able to read the menu on the menu that the they had on here, I actually would have told them to take the shrimp out. It's not on the menu. No. I know. It's like I said, if it would have been on the menu, I would have. We'll call it something like the surprise burrito on the our phone. The surprise burrito. Oops. Molly Scott didn't finish because there was a. Ate a burrito one time in Ohio that had everything left over at the end of the night inside it. That's literally what it was. Andy's burrito was completely different from my burrito. It was the only place that I sat at for three hours waiting for a burrito challenge. By the way, comment below if you live anywhere near me. I live near Annapolis, Maryland. Kennedy here lives uh, near State College in Pennsylvania. And if you know any challenges by chance, let us know. We'll come on down and have dinner with you. <laughs> Might take a couple weeks just a little bit. Yes, I do know about chicken roofs. <laughs> the place is like the iconic. Have you gone to chicken roofs? Like, yes, yes, I have. Four times. <laughs> Are you able to do a different challenge every time? Mm. We guys doing okay? Yes. Yeah, thank you. Um, I declined to do it the one time because they were gonna make it was gonna be like seventy bucks. But uh, I mean, you can do it different every time. The, man, the there's always been different people there. That's my problem. Mm. So super nice people that work there. It's just I don't think they understand. It, there, there's there's miscommunications. Oh, there's a lot of shrimp in there. Shrimp. I'd swap you, but you don't like shrimp. Mm -hmm. I eat it. I feel like I'm letting down the team here. I really despise mushrooms too, but I do the contest right here. Spare EpiPen is actually my bathroom. Yeah? No. I didn't know your reaction was that bad to it. I couldn't breathe. Yeah? And the thing is, I can touch it. It doesn't, it, even if, it, if the food touches it, I have, it's nothing. It's like, it's, I don't know what's causing it, it's, it, it, but it's been shrimp every time. Yeah. So. But it's not every shrimp. It doesn't make any sense. Maybe she has a tainted shrimp. Any better? We did two baskets of chips. That makes up for a little bit of it, and like two of these, which is more than the volume of the, of the actual shrimp. <laughs> I'm trying to justify this here. That thing was delicious. Took me about seven and a half minutes. Yeah. I actually feel bad about this. I don't know what to do. Nothing you can't do. 
a food allergy. It's not like you can risk choking and dying. Well, I am. Sometimes you have to ask yourself, what would Raina do? She'd put it in a napkin. <laughs> or we could do this. She's got shrimp. The shrimp disappeared. Ring a bell. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the cup slam hurt around the world. Oh my god. The cup slam or the napkin hate and the napkin fade. So I've got like twelve shrimp. I uh a 24 fold I've got. You know that I can finish stuff like this. I, I just, I can't. Watch this. And through the magic of television, the shrimp is gone. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm calling, I'm calling a technical foul on this one. Um, there is no description in the menu of this challenge, so unfortunately I didn't know that there were shrimp in here. I'm in the process of trying to get to the bottom of a seafood allergy that I am experiencing. And the last couple times that I ingested shrimp, I had a very tight throat and I got very lightheaded and actually had to sit down and I almost passed out. Um, I don't know what it is, um, but I have had foods that have touched the shrimp and I've been okay. So we're just going to play our little safe game here and I'm not eating that for right now. If I would have known, I probably I would have asked them to swap out the chicken in, for the shrimp or something like that, which would have been great. But unfortunately, there was no description and I didn't really know what was going on. So. Either which way, no harm, no foul. Um, we all know that I can eat more than that, but we're going to call this a, the technical foul challenge. And uh, maybe come back again and do it again. <laughs> like and subscribe. Uh, check out Killer Kennedy's channel. And uh, see you again. Another big burrito. And uh, for 25 bucks, might as well come down here to uh, Fayetteville and get a massive burrito. Pay for it, but free chip.